Gunners Diaz Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Uh, here's another one. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. She said, what? Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. She's a torta with some bad habits. Bye, 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 All bitches rattle. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. From here to see out. Bye, bye. <laughs> nah. Hey, trip out in the middle of the style of direct fashion. You already know what it is, man. I'm going to bring you some of that playerism, real talk, and some of that knowledge that you can't get in college. So in a menudo style of direct fashion, before we get into the story, what I need you individuals to do, thank you for all the support, is to touch that notification bell, turn it to all, like and subscribe, and be abreast of all the dope content I'm bringing all week because I got a whole lot of more for you. And that's just what it is, man. So let's get straight into it. Just like that. Um, Gunner got shanked several times to be in fact, man. Um, I got hit, right? Quietly as it's kept, um, I can never get used to it. You know, some people, hey, I don't care, homes. I don't care about my life. I'm suicidal. I don't give a fuck what happens, right? Uh, not me, eh? I'm trying to live to the next light. Um, at the same time, in the meantime, in between time, things happen when you're involved. When you're involved at a high level and you're gangbanging and you start to gain a reputation and start to be known or start to become a target, you become that target, man. And individuals know that you pose a threat. See, if you're out there just gangbanging, getting in where you fit in, and you're really not that one, so that's gay. Who cares? Never there's a root poop, booty boop up, right? Who gives a weenie that poo? Weenie that poo. Not the new one, the killer, right? The, the, the bullshit one. They're not even tripping off you. But if you're real in real life and they feel like you pose a threat, you absolutely become a target inside them walls and outside of them walls. Um, and on several occasions, man, I got hit, you know, been about to try to whack me, all kinds of things. Um, but here's a story about me getting shanked. Now, I told you guys the story about me being hit in prison in the arm, being hit in YA in the arm. So I was kidding. For some reason, I'd like so be blocking this shit, eh? So I'd be doing the Bruce Lee. I got to block some shit. Um, been hit in my arm several occasions. Been hit under my arm um, by Johnny Boy from Pomona 12th Street. Remember? You remember, Holmes. Um, got to give him his respect. He done did that. You know, he, he put it in just a little bit. Um, but he definitely tried to take a lung out one time for his mind. That was part of the game when we were youngsters, man. You hit me and I'll hit you back. Orale, digital underground. We were trying to um, decapitate each other. Um, but I haven't told you guys a story about quite recently. And this dates back probably about a ah, year, year and a half ago. Gunners Collective on the map, man, doing my thing. And I got recognized. And I got recognized at a spot that I probably wasn't supposed to be in. Um, but the wiggleization was real, right? You know, when you have a mindset and when you've been through so much like I've been through, being shot, stabbed, beat with bats, all that, you know, it's crazy, huh? You know, all that could happen to one individual. It does, man. That's normal. You know, there's been there's been people that have got it way worse than I've got it. Believe that. That's facts. Um, but when you've been through shit in your life, um, you just chalk it up to the game. You know, it's just another incident, man. Let me throw that in the archives. So that's good. Let's talk about it on YouTube. Um, it really ain't nothing to it but to do it. But as you get older and gradually push away from the game um, and decide that the game's not for you, you have to watch where you go. So you're not welcome back in the hoods and barrios. You're not welcome in these places where gangbanging is active and real. You know, for anyone that gets out of the mix and decides that they're going to go back to their hoods or their barrios that think they're, they're just going to kick it, there might be some homeboys that show canalismo and embracement. Yeah, it might be cool to go to the homeboy's house and eat a few tacos off the grill. That might be cool. But if some of them high politically ass homeboys that are actually pushing a hard line hear about it, they're going to be waiting right outside that gate for your ass. And when you come out, mm, vamanos, toma, we got you. See you later, alligators. What? what the? I didn't even mean to. Well, we did. And that's just it. Um, so I wiggled with a few homeboys. Now there's a, you know, it was it was a while back. It was about a year and a half ago. And I went to a, a casino called Chichancy. I don't know if you guys have ever been there. Um, it's in the Central Valley. It's right outside of Fresno, Madera. Um, it's pretty much the Valley Kicking Spot. It's where everybody goes, right? Um, we don't have much in the Valle, man. We have fucking Table Mountain, and now they have the new Table Mountain, and then of course Chichancy and Black Oaks and a couple other little casinos. Um, there's more casinos going towards Sacramento and the Bay Area. You got the Hard Rock, of course, Thunder Valley, all that shit. Um, but in the Valley, we got Chichancy. It's a pretty nice casino, right? It's been shut down, opened up, shut down, opened up. So um, that was like the spot to go. So I'm visiting Familia. And, you know, when you're around family, everything's good, man. You start to get a little brave. You got primos. 
Hey, man, fuck the world. I don't give a fuck if I'm not active. Hey, I'm going to go wherever I want. So let's get pop, pop, except for there. You know what I mean? I ain't going to go there. Um, but I was all up in Merced, just wiggling, right? Undercover. I ain't going to lie. I wasn't sitting out there walking the streets, gang banging, acting like I'm somebody I'm not because I'm not no longer part of that. You know, I'm a church going good guy that loves his lady, right? That's just it. Um, but I decided to go back to visit the familia. It was 4th of July. And I didn't really put this story too much out there because Sasuke wasn't for all ears to hear. And I was ashamed. Bata. I was ashamed because Bata just caught me slipping. But <clears throat> I'm out there at Chichansi. And the first night we go, we went back to back nights. First night, kosher, dill pickle, smooth, right? Um, I went and I seen a homeboy. And one of the homeboys that I seen, he was from my neighborhood. He kind of looked. He was like, what's up, bro? He couldn't believe. He was shocked to have seen me. But at the same time, he was trying to show me love. He was like, what's up, bro? And I seen him and I just mugged like, fuck that, eh? I, don't, I can't trust you. That's one thing about me. If I'm out of the game homes, I don't trust a nan nan motherfucker. Nan nan motherfucker can be trusted by gun, right? I don't trust them. Because people will act and play the role in your face like they're your homeboys. And the setup game is real. You know, they'll try to throw chicks at you to set you up. All kinds of different tactics, man. Come on, side game. I utilized all the dummy roles when I was active and when I was in the mix. So I know about Valtos trying to get at you, right? So anyways, I see the homeboy. I'm kind of like at a distance. Like, what's up, bro? He's like, hey, what's up, fool? There's a little club in here. Let's go kick it. There's hell of it. Nah, nah, nah. I'm cool. All bitches rattle, homie. And, then, and, and I don't like that. And I'm not the rattler. So I'm good, right? So we kept our distance. And he was kind of like, all right. He understood. So anyways, that fucking after we go to the casino that night, it's all good, man. I don't win shit. I lose hella money. We jam. And we go back to my tia's pad. Now, my tia has a pool in her backyard. Got an asada on the grill. A lot of familias coming from the Bay Area. The wiggle's real, right? So I feel protected and unaffected in the backyard. Everything's good. Well, the homeboy comes over because he's good friends with my tio. So we all used to work together at some point in time. And I introduced my homeboy from my neighborhood to my tio. And they became good friends to this day. I said, to this day, right? They're good friends. So all of a sudden, the gate opens. And I see the homeboy come through with this old lady and whatever, his kids. And I'm kind of like, and he was like, what happened, fool? I seen you at the casino last night. You were all shocked and shit. You acted like you don't know me. Were you scared or something? I said, what? He said, no, no, no. I know you weren't scared. But at the same time, you didn't trust me, huh? I said, no, I can't trust no one. See, that's one thing I was laced up in the game, you know, is being aware. And don't trust a damn near that motherfucker, right? You just don't trust anyone because people always have your bad intentions. They have bad intentions, you know? Ain't no one trying to see no one win. Let's just be real. There's very limited few, very few of us, man, that want to see other people, you know, win, climb that mountain. I'm one of them. I love to see other people win, man. I'm, I'm going to win regardless because I'm going to put in that hard work. But I love to see other people achieve what they want to achieve. I don't give a fuck about the gang aspect of things. If you're active, if you're non-active, man, as long as you ain't telling on me, homes, and you're trying to push forward, do your thing, eh? You know, I ain't mad at you. You know, if you're a weirdo, a chido, or anything like that, it's okay, you're on your own. You know what I mean? Cabron, that's it. But as long as you ain't doing no weird tactics and you're doing your thing, homes, hey, enjoy the fruits of your labor, homes. Work hard for what you achieve and move smooth with that purpose. And that was it. So anyways, I see the homeboy and he's like, yeah, I see you, bro. He's like, man, did you guys hit? Did you guys win? And he's acting normal. And I'm kind of like easing my comfort zone. Like, all right, this is my homeboy. We're shaking your hand. It's flicking it up. What's up? I say, hey, don't let any of the homeboys see these pictures. They're going to whack you, hey. He's like, I ain't tripping off none of that. I'm a family man now, bro. Yeah, I'm still good in the hood. Um, but I don't go there much. There's nothing left for me. See, a lot of people don't understand that when you're out of the hood and you see it from the outside looking in, you really notice that you were in a box, bro. There really isn't nothing. I, I'm, not, I'm not speaking on every neighborhood. I know some are better than others. Um, but in my body, there really wasn't nothing to do, really wasn't nothing to see. Um, it was just a few houses, a partridge and a pear tree, and then a little bit of graffiti. Um, so there really wasn't nothing pulling me back. You know, I hear people say all the time, Gunner, you can't go back to your hood. Why would I want to? There ain't nothing there but a fucking fence that says dead end locals. We ain't got shit to fucking go back to, homie. You know what I mean? Most of us that were smart, you know, got our motherfucking papers, homes, and moved up out the barrio. And most of the people that are from my neighborhood don't even live in my neighborhood. They're from the surrounding areas talking about, but they don't live there. You know, that's just how it's always been, cut and dry, just to be honest with you, man. There was very few of us that actually lived in the hood, hood of dead end, man, in Merced. That's just the way it is, you know? I'm not disrespecting anyone. I'm just going to keep it fucking real. You guys know. Um... So anyways, the homie's like, nah, I don't even be in the hood like that, though. But I see some of the homies, you know, we're all old and shit working. And I'm starting to get the rundown and reminisce. So anyways, the next night, he's like, hey, you want to go to the fucking casino again? Let's go for this hit. You know, you got some paper. And I was like, damn, my, my best intuition told me Charlie, right? Damn, they're about to try to set you up. But then I got to stop being paranoid and trust my own homeboys. See, you have to live life. You know, Dubs once told me. And uh, 
I always respect him for this, what he told me. He said, man, live your life, eh? Don't live scared. Live your life. You know, they can only kill you once. So just live your life. Enjoy your life. And, uh, you know, think about it when you were in prison. You were an only man. Homes, you were on your own, doing your own thing. You hit that yard every day by yourself. Hit that yard of life every day by yourself. I just threw that in there. He didn't tell me that. He just told me to live my life. But he's right. You know, live your life to the fullest. You can't live scary, homie. You know what I mean? You got to go do your thing um, regardless of what's going to happen. So anyways, I'm like, all right, yeah, yeah. Come swing through, bro. I'll be here. So, of course, I'm doing my familia thing all day long because he had came over early in the day about noontime. Kids are swimming. Got on the side of slapping on the girl. Summer, summer, summer. Here it is. A groove. Slightly trans. But we're getting our Will smith on. Everybody's bumping summertime. My primo's over there all pedo thinking he's DJ Jazzy Jeff on the turntables. Um, and I got a lot of familia, a lot of homegirls, a lot of everybody came from the Bay Area. So, I decided that if for no other reason, we would wiggle to Chichanza, but we'd go as a group. A lot of my primos, primas, their homeboys, their old ladies, whatever. Let's go as a group of 20. I say, fuck it, 20. Because I'm going to fit right in. And if they notice me, I have a couple primos that'll get off with me. I thought, right? Um, So we wiggled. I called the homeboy up like, what's up, bro? You're going to come through? He said, yeah, I ain't going to bring my old lady, though. It's just going to be me. Um, Because I guess someone's got to watch the kids. And ah, she grew that She drew that straw, right? She drew the long straw so or the short straw, whatever it was. So the homeboy comes through. He's like, you want to ride with me? I'm like, yeah, all right, with you, bro. So we jump in his truck, boom, by my nose, right? Anyone that knows Merced to Chichanti, it's about a good 45 minute to an hour drive, right? So we're wiggling down Highway 99, doing our thing. And uh, the homeboy's acting right. He's acting right, man. He's not, you know, getting me out of my comfort zone. He's not acting funny, sketchy. I'm not noticing any type of things. Um, so we pull up. We pull up all my primos, primas, everybody pulls up. We all meet up, boom, let's go. We mob up in Chichanti. Now, it's 100% facts. There's going to be someone I know there. That's just the way it is. You know, the valley's not very big, homes. You're going to see a lot of people, people from Fresno, Bulldog. You're going to see Sureños from upstate. You know what I mean? From the Sanger area or that area. Tulare County likes to come out there and wiggle. You're going to see fucking Norteños in, a act, in an active fashion all over the place. That's just the way it is. So we go up in there and we're mobbing around, playing the tables, playing the slots, not winning a damn dime. You know, hey, the natives are on that motherfucker like, Give us your money, bitch. They're getting all our money so they can drink that fire water. Um, and there's like a little club in there, a little kick a spot, right? People go in there, get drunk, dance and shit. So everyone decides let's go into this little club. It was Saturday night, right? Let's wiggle. Fuck it. Let's go. So we're up in there and everything's good. And there's a lot of hint there, man. A lot of guys and girls dancing, people doing their thing. I'm not really paying attention. I wasn't in that mode. I wasn't in that zone. Anytime I go anywhere, I'm more so like, I got to stay on my toes, especially being a YouTuber content creator now, because there's a lot of people that have animosity towards me for things that I've said, things that I haven't said, um, because a lot of the trolls instill fucking a whole bunch of hatred in them. So they hate me because they ain't me or they hate me for no other reason than they can. Um, and that's the cold part about the game that no one tells you. See, you could be out there wiggling wherever you go, right? Um, and people, I ain't scared of nothing, eh? I ain't. but you always have to be aware because, see, everybody knows what you look like, but you don't know what everyone else looks like. There's been plenty of times I've been in spots, man, grocery stores, Walmart, I said, getting my targetization on on Target. Um, you know what I mean? I was a Toys R Us kid back when they had that open. There was a lot of different places I was going and people would recognize me. Hey, and I know it right from the gate. As soon as I'd seen them, our eyes would lock and they'd go, <gasps> and they'd be like, hey, are you, are you Gunner from YouTube? And I'd be like, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. they'd be like, hey, can I get a picture? Or what's up, bro? It's been a minute since you've been up in it. And they say a lot of my catchphrases, ah, is this it right? Yeah, that's right. 99% of the time, it's been all love rather than hate. Um, but it has been some hate, you know? And this was one of them times. So, we're in that little club thing, and then I see a group of Norteños walk in, right? And automatically, my antennas went, and started going, tick, 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 because if they see me, dead ass, there's going to be functions. Dead ass, there's going to be problems, right? Right off the top, homes. You know what I mean? Low key, I was stressing like a Smith & Wesson, like, damn, there's hella homies here, man. I done walked into the lion's den because I've been put in them situations before. You guys know the story about Frisco, man. There's a story about Modesto. A lot of different places that I've been where active-ass homeboys have ran into me or seen me, homes. Some have been approached in a fucking different fashion. Some have approached respectfully. Some have wanted to get off where they were mad at. It's just the way it is. I wouldn't blame them, homes. Back in the days, I'd have got off quick. So anyways, I'm kind of kicking it. Head's not down, but I'm just doing my thing, right? And my prima's like, hey, primo, there's a gang of gangsters here. You want to go, right? I was like, go where? She's like, I don't know. Let's go back out to the casino, man. There's just too much. She was like, they fuck, fuck everything up. 
Now, and I remember, and I'm thinking to myself, wow, we used to walk into clubs and to parties and to spots back in the days. Is that what women and that what people thought about us, that we would fuck everything up? Because we would. <laughs> Is that okay? We'd go in there like, hey, I know you, homie, from High Desert. What's up, babe? Right? You know what I mean? Getting at people all fucking crazy like we're on the yard. Um, it's crazy, man, how people get all high-powered when they're on the streets, man, acting like everything is prison. Everything goes back to prison. And there's lots of prison going, taran, 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 taran. yep, do our bidding, babosos, right? So, anyways, we're in there kicking back. And my friend was like, you want to go? I'm like, nah, nah, I'm good, I'm good. You know what I mean? Just, you know, she stay aware and shit. And I don't have no pico de guy on me or nothing. You know what I mean? All I got is my dick in my pants and Herman ain't all there. So I'm just chilling. And... These Valtas are walking in, they're dancing, they're partying with their old ladies and shit. They all got hyenas. And one thing I know about Valtas with hyenas is usually if they got their chicks, unless you're fucking pitching their chicks butter or act, acting stupid, they ain't gonna do nothing. Guard, you know what I'm saying? You don't. You don't have a bitch. So they usually won't do nothing, right? Um, and I go up there to get a drink. Boom. You know what I mean? I mean, I need me a little Midori sour in my life, you know what I mean, to liven things up. And a Valtas like, hey, Holmes, you from Mercedes? And I was like, yeah. He goes, I'm from West Fresno Norte. I said, that's right, homie. You know, respects, homes. I said, yeah, I did time with a lot of homies from West, uh, West Fresno. So I, it's hard to say West Fresno, right? So we started having a conversation. He was cool. He didn't recognize me, you know, as Gunner, as a YouTuber. And um, we're chopping it up. And I was there just to visit my familia. Like I said, homes, I had to wiggle back home soon. Um, and we're just doing our thing. So my prima's kind of looking at me. My primo, like, hey, you good? He walks up. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm chopping up with the homie. It's a homie from West Fresno, right? And uh, all right, cool. And I, I was like, where you bought this from? He's like, a few of us are from Fresno, homes. Some of us are from fucking, you know, they were from everywhere in that little area, Orange Cove or whatever it was. And I was like, all right, cool, cool, Fresno County. And he was like, hey, you guys seen any Perro Chatos? Bulldogs, right? I said, nah, bro, I haven't even hit no one up or nothing like that. I ain't even on that height, bro. He said, you active as shit? I said, nah, I don't, I'm not in the mix like that. Now, he's not tripping. He obviously assumed, okay, because I, I said I ain't in the mix like that. Yeah, I'm cool, bro. I didn't say, oh, yeah, I used to be a homeboy, but, you know, I went to Susanville Prison, and it was all bad. So I didn't give him the whole fucking full rundown. You know, watch Gunners Collective for all that. Um, I was just like, nah, nah, I ain't in the mix like that. What's up, though? But I didn't misappropriate or misidentify myself. I didn't sit there all scary like, no, I'm still with the functions. Oh, man, I got your back. Nah, fuck all that. Nah, bro, I, I'm cool. You know, I'm a grown man. I'm on my grown man shit. Um... And one of his homeboys came up, and this is where it took the twist, right? He comes up, he's like, I know you, eh? He's already faded as fuck. I hate them drunk motherfuckers that don't know how to handle their liquor, right? So scared, so does my back, eh? He was like, uh, hey, I know you, eh? And he goes, you're from fucking Gunner's Collective, huh? And I was like, yeah, why, what's up? He was like, you're a D.O., eh? And I was like, nah, I ain't no fucking dropout, bro. I'm not active. Why, what's up? And his homeboy was like, what? I'm talking to a dropout? I was like, bro, what? A minute ago... Shit, you damn near wanting to fucking grab my prima's ass and, and fucking, you know what I mean? You want to fucking to go back with us and kick it in a motel and shit. All of a sudden, now I'm a deal, now I'm a punk. Now I'm a sucker, right? So I was like, fuck, man. My prima's kind of looking like, what's going on? Because he sees these dudes coming. Now another one's coming up. I'm like, fuck, they got me right here in Chichancy. You know what I mean? I knew I shouldn't have came to this shit. So scared I stole my money. The motherfucking, the Native Americans are winning, ain't The fucking Washington Commanders. Fuck it, go Eagles. Right, I'm pissed. What are the Cowboys? Fuck this division, right? Um, and these vultures are getting hyphy, you know, they're getting all loud, and I'm like, fuck, man. I already see I already see it coming, right? And so I kind of turned like fuck towards this one because he's looking fidgety, and that's when I felt it. BAM! Scraper, right? I got a scar right here. Hit this. It's not real big, man. It's just about that big, right? Two, two stitches, you know what I mean? For the vultures that were being snitches, right? Mmm, Toma, Vato scraped me, and I felt it, but I was wearing like a big jacket. Um, what are those fucking jackets, the big, like, wool ones, the gray one? I don't know what the fuck they're called. You know what I mean? The sailor men used to wear them. I had one of those on, so it fucking hit me, but it couldn't go through. It just like, ugh. And I was like, oh, shit. And then they were on me, hint they? Boom, 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 jumping me. And they're like, fucking drop out, D.O. And uh, I had it coming, man. I, sh I went out of my comfort zone. I shouldn't have went in a place in an area where actives are um, doing their thing. But at the same time, man, I'm not going to be scary, right? Dubs told me, man, go where you go. Um, and I got, I got jacked up that night. Um, my primo jumped in, man. They scraped him pretty bad. I mean, that was it, you know. Uh, we left up out of there. Security came. I don't even know how the Volta had a filero, um, but he did. Um, of course, the blackest came. Hey, what happened? Who did what? Who did what? You know, I'm over there leaking in the back like, damn, like an innocent bystander. So I said, I think I left some chips on the table, right? And we bounced. Went back to Merced. And I told the homeboy, where the fuck were you at, eh, when all this shit happened? You know, conveniently, you guys want to hear something? I had to ride back with my primo. Prima, you want to hear something? The homeboy left. As soon as he seen them vultures approaching and he knew what time it was, he left me. 
high and dry. Um, and I always remember thinking to myself, damn, that was a poop butt move, man. Where the fuck were you, homeboy? You know what I mean? I know you're active, you're still in the mix, but you got all choked up and scared, homes. Hey, scared to hold it down for your homeboys from day one. But that's what it'd be like sometimes. So anyways, yeah, I got hit. But uh, it wasn't that bad, gente. It wasn't that bad. I didn't come back and, hey, guess what? I got stabbed. I was only visiting family, merely checking out family, man. And a little incident took place and it is what it is, you know? Um, shit happens. Now, one thing I've learned before, and I'll say it again, man, is when you're gangbanging and you're in the mix, them things happen. When you're going out to the clubs and you're going out in them zones, homes that you don't know about, them things happen. You have to pay attention and stay aware because if you think nothing's going to happen to you or nothing ever happens to you because that's either A, you're telling on everyone or B, you're not going nowhere, bitch. And that's just it. You know what I mean? If you're really out there in the streets wiggling, now I ain't going to sit there and say every day I'm out there fucking, hey, gang, guess what? Only I don't gang back. So you can get me. But hey, there have been incidences and times and places, man, where I've went somewhere. Has my YouTube career affected me? Has this content creating bullshit affected my whole wiggle? Not really, homes, but in some circumstances it has, and that was one of them. Anyways, with that being said, Gunner got shanked, man. I got hit. Um, went to the fucking little hospital. They stitched me up, stitched me up, and then stitched me back, right? And I was good. Um, and I ain't been to Chichancy ever since. <laughs> with that being said, I hope that you move smooth with a purpose. Get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, at the end of the day, it's all about the strive, the struggle, the struggle, the strive. I hope you enjoyed the story. It's all dope. It's all real, man. No added preservatives, man. There's going to be motherfuckers that try to pick through it. But go ahead. Pick your nose as well, booger. Because that's just what it be like, man. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears guns crown. I'm going to continue to strive, struggle, struggle, and strive for what I honestly and truly believe in. And there's two things in life that I believe in. One is that I'm going to be about mine and be about my familia and be about my lady and be about my issue, right? And two... All bitches rattle. Shout out to Conejo. Bang, bang. The gun.